Hey guys, today I thought I might as well do um, another air combat video just to, just uh, to keep it up a bit uh, with uh, because Hellcat tells me that he's gonna be gone for a little while and uh, I'm feeling kind of sad because I just got a new upgrade for my fire flight and my other planes as well. I got, oh, sorry. Hit the dang button. There we go. I got the uh, the the extra extra five canard, which gives me another plus one and of energy and agility. Let's take a look at what, what the next one brings us. Oh, okay. Just another just another like that. But I guess uh, because I give oh sorry baby I give you too much attention now. Time to give uh, to to the newer the new lady on the block uh, the Defcon and uh, I think I'm, I think uh, a few a few weeks ago about like maybe a couple weeks ago I gave this baby uh, a good test run I'm like like a good I would call it like I got her destroyed pretty much There's been a few videos ever since but. Not in one where she like where we get to see her grace and her power, really. So we're going to jump into survival and see how long we can go with the extra agility and uh, and energy. She's about the same speed as a Blitzwing and a Death and a Megatron, but much more powerful in terms of firepower. Same energy as the as the Fire Flight, but a little bit more powerful with a 4.8 plus in missile damage. Same gun damage, but whatever. Can't win them all. I'm going to see if I can keep one-shotting planes. Alright, here we go. We have three. Oh, wait, no. That was a waste. This thing is a, uh, yeah, you kind of, yeah, what, whatever. Alright, it usually stops here with the fire flight. Aw, oh, great. Imagine what the, what the Snapdragon can do. Iron, iron, uh, I spent most of my diamonds on getting the, the, uh, the canard, but it's, uh, but because I earn, I get a lot of videos now, and uh, I can earn, and I can earn uh, gems really quickly now. So I think I'm good. It's gonna be a few weeks. Uh, it's gonna be several, probably a few months, maybe a few months uh, until I can actually get the, the, actually get the, uh, the Snapdragon. So I think I got plenty of time to build up my to build up my supplies anyways. Whoa, 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 no need. You gotta love the standard uh gray camo and the I mean sure it looks kind of plain compared to some of the other planes in the in this game but definitely definitely something new I feel at least not in terms of actual planes but definitely something new to the game I mean in some cases I'm not exactly for all the paint jobs I mean like Sometimes I prefer like just the originals, like with the uh, like with the blades. I like the the winter camo for the SU twenty seven. And uh, I think I prefer for the Firefly probably the standard uh, black and red with red trim. Maybe well I'm not. I need to look. Yeah yeah the. Yeah, the I was checking. May have a brain fart. Yeah, just the 
just the black with the red trim, or just a darker color, really. Oh, yeah. She's got a little better armor than the... She's got the same armor as the... As the Blitzwing, so she's good. Get over here. There we go. Missed. I'm gonna look at that and call myself an idiot because I missed a, a killing opportunity and you missed a shot. Here we go. I'm trying to muffle my speak my phone speaker because there's someone in the next room actually. And I'm trying not to wake him up. It's actually early morning right now. So yeah. Oh damn it. Feels kind of weird stepping into a slower plane. Most of the time, I, I play with the fireflies, like just to just to test out some maneuvers and stuff. Like survival is pretty much a playground in almost every game. Like if any game has a survival mode, it's usually a game where you just go in and just play around, test uh, your skills, and just well, that's kind of what survival is for. But yeah, it's pretty much uh, just uh, to play around and maybe see what. And maybe improve on your on your on your already existing skill. Or what little you have if you're new. Cannot wait to see what Hellcat can do with this. Hellcat's definitely getting better. He's telling me he, he's definitely getting more aggressive and stuff. It's hard to keep. It's getting a little bit hard to keep up with him. But still, he's not much. He's not much trouble compared to what I've seen so far. At least. He's still learning. He's still getting some new projects. Sometimes he goes to me and tells me some strange strategies. Or at least what I think would be strange. He tells me he like. He's like, he's like, he tries to be very strategic about it, but, of course, you know what they say. No plan survives first contact with the enemy. Like, of course.
Yeah, one thing that I'm kind of scared of is when he gets his, uh, his Snapdragon. Well, at least he, that's the point that he really wants right now. It used to be the Defcon, but now that he's seen a Snapdragon, what it, what it's, uh, what its stats are, and even, and possibly even what it's capable of. He told me that he's actually beaten a few. Well, at least in 2 versus 2. <laughs> yeah, the Snapdragons are dangerous. Well, at least from what I've seen. Most of the time, it's like a pro player, like level 75, that I see. With one on one versus one. And they are deadly. Hard to kill and hard to hit, pretty much. That's all I gotta say about them. And also, pretty damn foxy, like I already said. My wrists are actually hurting. That has to be something. That has to be a hit. Ah, oh, this is not good for me. I'm left-handed. And, of course, as you can see from my orientation, my orientation of the controls, left is what you used to for the next mobility. Also, I'm pretty sure I orient myself towards left turns. You get lead. There we go. This is where I die. Ah, so close. Come on. Well, that is a handsome reward, though. Thank you, game. Oh, not too bad. Oh, yeah. Not too shabby, baby. Not too shabby. I think that's my record on fail. Well, at least on film. Okay, I guess that's enough for today. Alright. Bye, guys.